take it personal I ain't lying I ain't hiding I've been grinding Multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Hey girl, hey, good morning I hope all is well with you I am doing great If anybody wanted to know I know I'm coming on the camera looking a little busted with my tea or whatever, but your girl have um, a big day today. I am in a wedding. I don't know if you guys seen, it was, it was like quite a few videos ago where we were cake testing and I'm um, like doing little things with the bride. Well, if you did see that video, today is her day. She's getting married today. And so right now I am heading to um, I'm heading to the bank to pull the money, and then I'm heading to the hairstylist to get my hair done. And so I'm not gonna tell you guys what hairstyle it is. I will just let you all see, you know, what it is. And yeah, I want to record, you know, some of her doing my hair. But at the same time, I've never been to her before. This is my first time. So I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to be that extra person and like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Cannot do you mind if I record? Because, you know, some people are not used to that. So I didn't want to force the camera in her face. Or I don't want to force the camera in her face. So I don't know if I'm going to ask her if I can record. I think I'm just gonna play it by, you know, the energy that I pick up. Or if I'm led by the spirit to ask her, then I ask her. If not, I'll just get on here and show y'all the finishing look. But anyway, how you doing? What's been going on with you? How has your week been? Hey girl, hey, and happy Thursday. I hope you are all having a great day because I am, if you were wondering, um, it has been a little minute since I recorded my last clip. I am going to insert a picture somewhere on the screen, um, a picture of the style that I got for the wedding. But the reason I did not pick my camera up right after leaving the salon was because one i had to like run all over the place trying to look for some decent face masks for the wedding at the very last minute i also not only had to go home and curl my mom hair but i also had to do my makeup and my mom's makeup as well but the the main reason why i didn't pick up the cameras because i was a little aggravated agitated and just like upset a little bit and the reason for the reason for that is as stylists we all should know that we should not be combing out somebody hair with a freaking rat tail comb like seriously hear me out i'm not bashing nobody i'm not stepping on nobody's toes but let's just think about it why are we using a rat tail comb to comb out somebody thick hair like for the life of me i don't i don't understand it like, I'm a stylist for those who don't know. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I specialize in braids. And I do, too, use a rat tail comb. But I use a rat tail comb for part and purposes only. I do not comb out hair, especially thick hair, with the rat tail comb. It's going to pull the hair. It's going to pop the hair. It's going to break the hair. Like, come on. How in the world do you expect to get that thick, coarse hair through that little rat tail comb like that? I really don't understand and that's exactly what the stylist did to my hair so my hair you know my scalp was was really sore and like right now to this day my scalp is is still sore um she put a few pieces up here to do my swoop you guys will see how you know my hair was or whatever it was like it was a swoop in the front with a ponytail in the back she put um a few pieces up here 
and my freaking scalp is like I took those I took those pieces out that she put in there and my scalp is still like sore I haven't like washed my hair out yeah I haven't did anything to my hair I just popped this unit on top you know to like allow my scalp to calm down some but I just I don't understand why we're doing that, y'all. Like, let's get it together in 2021, please. On another note, I wanted to talk to you guys about something different. So, I have a few videos here on my channel about um, healthy living and, like, weight loss and stuff like that. I don't have a lot on my channel about it, but I have a little bit. And I wanted to, like, ask you guys would you guys mind if i like implement that type of stuff here on this channel or do you guys think i should start another channel with um like weight loss and healthy living stuff and i say that because over um this week today is thursday so i've been doing this since monday i have really been like thinking hard and like putting different things into perspective. And what I mean by that is, okay, so I just spoke to you guys about the wedding, you know, with weddings and weddings, you take pictures, blah, 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 you know that. And so I was not happy with my pictures and I'm a firm believer. If you don't like something, you have to change it. Okay, so I've been like cutting back with my eating, if that makes sense. And I've still been like consuming higher carbs and trying to um, consume lower fats, but it's, it's, it's not giving me the same result that low carb and high fat would give me. And I just want to like, like bring you guys in my world for a little bit. So my, this is going to get, get. Mm, it may be TMI for some. This may be TMI for some. If it is, I'm sorry. You might want to fast forward past this part. But my last monthly was in November. Actually, no, January. No, it was November because I missed. Yeah. So my last monthly was in November of 2020. It is February of 2021. So I did not see a monthly in December nor January. And so I took pregnancy tests. The test came back negative, both of them. I took two. And so I knew, you know, obviously something was wrong because for a while, my menstrual cycle was very regular. And I do know that prior to doing keto, my monthly was all over the place. So I kind of like, you know, had it in the back of my head that I knew I needed to like drop these carbs and stop playing and get it together. But at the same time, like, you know, when you're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And although I've been in my relationship for almost a year now, like, you know, you get comfortable, you're in love, you know, your partner is, you know, telling you how beautiful you are, this, that, and the other It's like, okay, well, I want chips, I want rice, I want bread, I want all of this stuff that I'm not supposed to be consuming, right? So it's like, because you're feeling good in the skin that you're in and really not paying attention to your health and what's going on in your body, you know, you continue like feeding um, the sugar cravings, you continue like you start feeding um, or continue feeding like your wants instead of your needs. And so that was my issue. And so, although everybody, you know, wants me to be pregnant and stuff like that, and I can't lie, you know, I do want to be a mom, but all that will happen in God's timing. So, I told myself, I said, okay, let me start cutting these carbs. And I can't lie, I did not, um, I did not completely do keto. And what I mean by that is while I'm here at work, I would like pack my lunch bag make sure my foods are like low um low carb and stuff like that but then when i get home i'll have like i don't know some pretzels or some rice for dinner you get what i'm saying and so i did that 
Monday, Monday and Tuesday. Okay, Wednesday, which was yesterday, was the first day that I actually did full-fledged keto. Didn't consume bread, didn't consume rice or anything like that. Today's the second day that I've um, done keto full-fledged and guess what? My cycle is here. So it's like, whew, I said all that to say, you know, it's very important that we listen to our body and knows what our bodies want and knows what our body need. And I've been going, you know, back and forth with keto and not doing keto because it's like, think about it. I love carbs. I love carbs, but my body doesn't love carbs. You know what I'm saying? And so I get caught up into being comfortable, you know, letting birthdays come up and holidays come up and family functions come up and, you know, uh, functions come up and I let it take me off course. Not that it's whoever throwing an event fault, but it's my fault. I know, I know what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. So it's up to me, you know, to stick to it and do it because the goal is to live a healthy life and not be sick and nearly dead, right? So with all that being said, um, I want to know if you guys would like, um, like what I eat in a day videos, um, like more talks like this like keeping a, a update on how i feel maybe recording some workout videos like let me know what you guys think what i think i want to do is add in a few days of what i eat in a day just to show you guys what those videos would look like to see if you guys want to see that on this channel or in another channel so yeah Hey y'all, so I have made it home from work. I had to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things for dinner. So let me show you guys what I got. I got some cream cheese. I got two of those. I got some Rebels um, ice cream. This is keto friendly. I have some Kerrygold butter. I have some sour cream, some broccoli bacon and over here i have some crispy onion ranch seasoning and some salad dressing this is thousand island this is blue cheese and that's raspberry vinaigrette and that was it Friday evening. I hope you all have had a great day because I have, if you were wondering, I know I'm coming on camera looking a little busted or whatever, but as soon as I hit the dough, baby, that unit comes off. I have had a long week. I've did five twelves and your girl is just chilling. Like for real, for real. I don't have to work tomorrow. I thought I was going to have to, but I don't. So praise God for that. I got my hookah right here and I got me a little junky drink on the side. And I got this handsome man right here. And I'm also watching um, Shanice Alicia on YouTube. I got some videos to catch up on 
on her channel. So I'm just chilling out, y'all. In a few minutes, I will take me a shower and I'm just going to be chilling. I've had my dinner. My belly is full. And on that note, y'all, I see why they say don't go to the store hungry because I went to the store and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff thinking that I was going to eat all of that. And um, I didn't. y'all good vibes only happy friday for my family y'all you heard yeah. me